all right so what's up youtube welcome back to jordan's guitar channel so i'm here with the two-year review of the e2 m1 nt um, i get so many questions and comments about this guitar still um, i actually made my first youtube video with this guitar and it's really kind of become my best friend so a lot of the questions and comments i get is this guitar worth the money all day yes dude absolutely so you know these things are coming in new about two thousand dollars now um this is the og version with nickel frets and the emg 81 25 and a half inch scale it is a neck through design maple uh, with alder body wings three-piece maple neck with a slight gloss which is not sticky in any way shape or form reverse headstock perfect little volute right there go to magnum locking tuners hand cut bone nut real ebony fingerboard um, go to hardware throughout uh, single volume knob ashtray battery cover i mean like just the right amount of stuff that you need for a simple thrash machine dude um so now like i said e2 is coming out with this version or this guitar in red white and black and it comes with the fish influence stainless steel frets i'm actually looking at getting one because um, i want to see how good e2 does on stainless steel frets because the other guitars i have all have nickel and the fret job is absolutely immaculate so this good so this guitar after two years has given me basically no trouble i mean i've had to do some pretty basic you know little corner quarter turn of the truss rod um but that's it like i really haven't had to set up the guitar or do really anything to it it doesn't move it it stays in tune because the build quality in this thing is perfection and you look at it dude and it's just this stripped down basic guitar but when you get it in your hands you're like oh my god dude like there's no sharp fret edges the fretboard is rolled off it just it just feels good and there's nothing in the way you're not flipping around stuff you're not worried about whatever dude you just crank it up and go which is what you need for a metal guitar um and i know there's a lot of hate for the emg81 dude and this guitar as you can hear it's a straight up monster um because the wiring diagram is stupid simple dude there's a nine volt battery going to the pickup there's not a neck pickup here there's not a toggle switch there's not a tone knob basic you don't need any of that stuff if you want to play metal bro um like i said everything about the guitar is top-notch quality and i recommend this guitar all day long man because if you want to get your foot in the door and a handcrafted japanese instrument in today's market two grand is not bad considering you see the prices now with some of these indonesian and korean guitars they're approaching up to that price point now granted this does not have any bells or whistles to it but the quality of the instrument is far superior and if you watch my channel you see that i play the hell out of my guitars uh this one gets played a lot more than the others and uh it's just been absolutely fantastic. I know a lot of people worry about the matte finish of the guitar. I'm going to try to catch this in my two lights here so maybe you guys can see. It is starting to polish up a little bit because I just play it all the time, bro. And every time that I change the strings, I polish the instrument. I you know, do the fretboard and the frets and everything like that to take really good care of it. Um, if there's any fret wear, dude, I can't tell. There's absolutely no buzzing. The action is super low. Um, I've kept it to ESP factory specs, which is 0.5 millimeter at the high E. And well, I'm actually up at 0.06 on the on the uh, base side because I run 10 through 52 on here because I've got a heavy right hand. Uh, and it's set up in drop D for those who are curious. And I'm running through the Ingle Fireball 100. Off camera, there is a Friedman BE-412, and I'm mic'd up with the Sennheiser E609. And, I mean, this guitar is just sonic mayhem, dude. Um, 
if you're looking for that just brutal metal guitar sound, I mean, this is it. You just crank the volume. <laughs> see how fast you can move on the snack dude ah this is the esp extra thin you it's very beautiful um i've got tiny small hands and you can see that i can get my hands all the way around the neck uh it's uh I believe it's just a 12 inch radius on this guitar if i'm wrong correct me uh, it is a 25 and a half inch scale length if i forgot to mention that and other than that man it's just a beautiful brutal machine dude don't worry about this this finish dude this guitars are meant to be played the finish is meant to change and uh be proud of it dude embrace this battle scars bro but if you have any questions or comments hate dislikes whatever dude leave them down below i'll get back to you it's kind of what i do here if you like what i'm doing out here at jordan's guitar channel come and subscribe it's free Come hang out with us, dude. Uh, we're always talking about guitars. We're all big guitar nerds out here. And we'd love to see you, dude. Um, but other than that, guys, as always, much metal, much love, and much peace. Later, y'all.